Have you ever felt alone in a room full of people? Do you feel as if nobody truly understands you? Do you feel empty, lost, hopeless or worthless? Does your anxiety stop you from doing things you want to do in your life? Are you depressed and don't know who to turn to for help or guidance? Are you currently struggling with your mental health? You never have to feel alone again. We understand you. We feel exactly like you do and we are here to support you. Share your story, connect with like-minded people, learn more about mental illnesses and how you can improve your mental health. Together, we can make a difference and together, we can reduce the stigma. Welcome to Authentic Mental Health. Introverts are the exact opposite of extroverts. Extroverts are often described as the life of a party. They seek out interactions and conversations. They never miss a social gathering and they thrive in a busy environment. Introverts, on the other hand, are often described as quiet, reserved and thoughtful people. Some people would classify introverts as shy. Introverts don't particularly like social gatherings and they never seek out special attention. Social settings or events leave introverts drained and exhausted. Many introverts around the world feel and think they are different from other people as they do things that other people don't consider normal or what others would class as weird. Here are six weird things that introverts do that are actually normal for introverts. Let's see if you at home can relate to any of them. Number one, you don't leave your house or apartment until your neighbor is gone. You're about to leave your house, but suddenly you hear or see your neighbor. Instead of leaving your house like you were going to, you stand silently at your door, waiting for your neighbor to leave or disappear back into their home. You may even look through your peephole to make sure that they've gone. Your neighbor might actually be a really nice person. And despite what people say and claim about introverts, introverts do not hate people. What introverts do hate though is awkward small talk. Number two, you feel weirdly happy when your friends cancel on you. For an extrovert, this would be terrible news and completely ruin your night. But for introverts, it's not bad news at all. In fact, it's the opposite. Introverts love to spend time alone, but sometimes introverts want to hang out with their friends too, especially if they are their closest friends. But if introverts are honest, they often feel happy and relieved when plans are suddenly canceled. They will never tell anybody that they're happy that plans have suddenly got canceled. But deep down, it's good news to them. It means they can have another nice evening at home, watching a movie, reading a book, taking a bath, listening to a podcast, or doing whatever they do when they spend time alone. Number three, you shy away from salespeople. Online shopping is an introvert's best friend. Spending time in a loud, overcrowded shopping center is not the definition of a good time to an introvert. But I will tell you what's worse for an introvert than a loud, overcrowded shopping center. Salespeople, especially the ones that hover around you, trying to help you with your shopping, making small, awkward conversation with you as you look around the store. Number four, you pretend not to see people you know in public. Like I mentioned earlier, introverts do not hate people. Introverts need to be in a certain mood or charged full of energy to have a conversation with others, especially strangers or people they don't really know. Many introverts pretend they don't see people they know in public. I will give you an example. You're out shopping in the supermarket. You're walking around the store when you turn into the frozen food section. As soon as you enter, you see an old school friend looking 
in the freezers for some food. What does an introvert usually do in this situation? They quickly turn around as quick as humanly possible and head in the other direction, hoping and praying that they haven't been seen. Number five, you avoid being alone with people you don't know. Sometimes, unfortunately, introverts can't avoid this. Nobody can. You may be out with your friend when all of a sudden your friend's friend comes over to say hello. You don't know who your friend's friend is and you've never seen them before. When all of a sudden the friend who you're with gets a telephone call and they walk off to talk on the phone, which means you're left with your friend's friend trying to have a conversation and you're making small talk, which you absolutely hate. This may seem like a small thing to other people, but for an introvert, it can be very, very uncomfortable and very, very awkward too. You're literally counting the seconds in your head until your friend comes back. Number six, you always try to do something else before making a call. Why call someone on the phone when you can text them, send them a letter, or send them an email? As an introvert myself, I always try and avoid making a telephone call if I can. If somebody tells me to call someone and ask them something, I will try and text them or email them first. It's more comfortable for introverts to do this rather than pick up the phone. Can you relate to any of these six weird things introverts do? I personally can relate to all six. I now want to hear from you guys and girls at home. What weird things do you do as an introvert? Let me and others know in the comment section down below and let's show others they are not alone here. If you need help with your mental health, there is a link in the description box down below where you can speak to a mental health professional immediately and begin to get the help you need and deserve to get your life back on track. The link is in the description box down below if you need help with your mental health. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful and helpful, please give this video a like. If you're not already, please subscribe to Authentic Mental Health to join a community of people just like you. Our social media links are also in the description box down below. And we have a brand new support Discord for members of the Authentic Mental Health community, where we all help each other, support each other, and give each other friendly advice. The link to our Discord is in the description box down below. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all again in another video.